Raiders sitting at seven and eight. Turnover margin, they haven't been good either. They're bottom third of the league. Broncos dead last. Offense, though, let's take a look. The Raiders, Zach, offense hasn't been the Raiders' problem this year. It's been that defense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think Derek Carr has played really well this year, actually. But look at this, all right? The Raiders have one, two, three, four, five, six of the major statistical categories. They are in the top ten, including third down percentage. They've done – Derek Carr just does a good job finding the weakness on, on third down. Meanwhile, let's take a quick look over here at the Broncos. Look at all that red. I mean, middle of the pack in rushing, that's about the only thing you can really hang your hat on, and sacks allowed. That's it. Fumbles lost, only nine. You say only, but it's still good for 21st. Otherwise, look at all that red. And remember, what does red mean? NFL bottom 10. Okay, that's what red signifies. Now look here, though. Here's a here's a heartening connection. The, the Raiders defense, Zach, is like the mirror image of the Broncos offense. Look at all that red. Right. Two spots where they're middle of the pack, but everything else dead last. Meanwhile, the Broncos defense has definitely felt the effects of all this injury turnover because even though the Broncos went seven and nine last year, they were an off a defense, excuse me, they were had many statistical rankings uh, in the top of the league. The only thing they have to hang their head on this time is red zone. So this is the this is the head to head comparisons here. What jumps out to you, Zach? Well, this is this is going to be another situation where it's up to the Broncos' offense to likely win the game. I do I do believe that Carr and the Raiders' offense and Jacobs and Waller and all the receivers they're going to get their yards. They're going to get their points. I do think the Denver defense though can keep them pretty much limited for the most part. But it goes back to the offense and how good is Locke going to be? How good is the game planning going to be? How good is the play calling going to be? How good is the running game going to be without Philip Lindsay now? This is what the things I wonder about. If the offense can get going, Chad, it can give the defense. Um, a, a leg up to operate with a lead at their back. They can pin their ears back and really get after Derek Carr. And maybe they can string together 17, 20 unanswered points. They can really take hold of this game. It's the same story every week, though. The Denver defense should do its job relatively well, and it's up to the offense to match the points of the opponent. Is it possible? Yes. Is it likely? We don't know. The killer this year, I mean, aside from the obvious, we've talked about the injuries, but if you look at what's really – The two areas that have crushed the Broncos, it's the giveaways. I'll I'll say three. It's the giveaways, the lack of takeaways, and then right here, points per game. Fangio's defense very um, uh, uncharacteristically given up almost 28 points per game. You just can't win in the league. I don't care who your offense is. And maybe you're saying, well, you know, the defense is out there too much because the Broncos' offense has been too inconsistent, and there's some truth to that. But it's not an excuse that the defense can look at each other in that room and use as a real out, right, to get the onus off of this. 28 points a game. But, Zach, here's here's what I say, all right, as, as far as what jumps out here. This Raiders defense, all that red, don't sleep on them. Did they look like a bottom 10 defense when the Broncos faced them earlier this year in Vegas? Not to me.